Well, as I mentioned in my previous video about the Runcam Split 2S better than the Runcam Split 2, we're here now to show side by side the videos in flight. So I took this old frame with these old models, not too old, but very, very used models. A couple of them are new and a couple of them are old. Old BTX, old flight controller that have in a box, no use. It's a Matek flight controller. And I put the two room cams, right? The Split 2S here, which is the one I'm using for DVR, and the Split 2 on top, risking more because it's the older one. I have several crashes, so you can see that the marks. I then uh, I did it this way because that was the only way, so no way to put it side by side here. So I had to mount it on top, but it's fine. This one was more prone to vibrations than this one, but still in some parts you will be observing that this one was showing some jelly on the video, while this one not. And in some other moments you will see this one vibrating a little bit and this one not. Both have using the default settings, 60 frames per second, 1080p, both. A, I noticed based now on the on the video results, which you will be able to see after this, or you can go to the index description on the comment down below and jump directly to the video. Then a, this one, in my both cameras are excellent cameras from my point of view. I don't notice any latency problem. I don't racing, of course, or anything like that. But a, I did notice when I put it to record on 1080p 30 frames per second, at least on this one, I noticed a little bit of latency. In the videos you can see as well that this one is a little bit, like the WDR on this one is a little bit stronger than this and that makes the better views of the image on the, ch on the shades, on darker places than this, a little bit. But that is the default setting. and then. As well, you, you can see that this one is a little bit sharper than this one. And of course the colors, because the WDR, are a little bit more washed out on this one than this. But at the end, this one looks more natural. If you don't have this camera to compare to this one, this still will be an excellent camera. An excellent color rendering camera. Anyways, both cameras to me are excellent. This one is no longer available. Now this one is the one that will be available. Other than that, this one has a lot, few more features, as I said in my previous video, that you can change through the menu that this one doesn't have. The, the video is not too acrobatic. It's a standard fly cruising there, showing some stuff. So you will be able to see high contrast uh, directly looking to the sun. For example, one thing that I observe, generally this one looking to the sun, the sun looks bigger. Anyways. You get your own conclusion. I think this camera is great. I will personally adjust the sharpening a little bit. All right, let's go to the video. And after that, I know coming back here. So as usual, I wish you to have a clear skies and happy fly. And thank you for watching.